պահին ելույթ կունենա Կալիվորնիը նահանգի 41 երորդ ընտրատարածքի ներկայացուցիչ Մայք Կատոն։ Please join me in welcoming to the stage representing the 43rd district assemblyman Mike Gatto. Good evening. My name is Mike Gatto and I have the distinct pleasure of representing this community in the California State Legislature. Tonight, like so many other free thinking and truthful people all around the world, we gather together to commemorate the tragic events of a hundred years ago. When we gather like this, we are making the statement that even with all of our busy schedules, and even though our positions are unpopular with some, and even in the face of great frustration with presidential inaction, that we, the people of this community, will pause to contemplate man's inhumanity to man, to reflect on what happened and why, and to utter the two words which has become a mantra for all those out there desiring peace, never again. The Armenian community has prospered despite facing near extinction about a hundred years ago. Looking out there today, I see so many members of a strong community that is united in a purpose, and that is to seek justice. There is much to be done at the federal level, there is much to be done at the state level. I have been pushing for things like making sure that if you museum, buys some looted, stolen property, like a Bible, that it is taken from our ancestors, that it is forced to give it back. We have been forcing these museums to comply with international law and not profit from the tragedy that occurred. We have also been pushing for the simple premise that if an insurance company insured somebody who perished, that it cannot profit by retaining the insurance proceeds, that the, the descendants of those who perished must be allowed to sue in California courts. There is much to be done. There is much to be done. But I am always heartened when I see groups like this gather, because we know the truth. We have the courage to speak the truth. We have the courage to come together to commemorate the truth. And like the shirts say, we will never, ever forget. Thank you. Aijam khantrum ek dima vorel glendel ka ki de protsakan khorti nakhin nakhagayev aijam ya antam grek kar koryanin. I would like you. I would like to invite to the stage Glendale Unified School District Board of Education board member and immediate past president Greg Krikorian. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Men's Badik and Men's Babik were orphans when they came to the United States in 1915. My family is Harpetsi. I looked at my grandparents, they were both orphans. They came with no family. You know, I look at what's happening in today's times. I'm here with, you know, fellow colleagues in our community and that speak the voice of us as Armenian Americans. You know, it comes time to 97 years we've been fighting the Turkish government and the Turkish lies. Turkey lies today that we never existed. Do we want just a simple apology to say we're sorry, or do we want Mount Ara back? We want Mount Ara back is the first thing we want. I know I'm here today with fellow colleagues Rafi Manukian, Laura Friedman, and Naidi Nahabedian from Glendale, and Adam Schiff, who's constantly fought for Armenian causes. We get political rhetoric all the time during the time of elections. But what we need is leaders that are going to represent us. We the people represent the Armenian Americans that spilled blood in World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, 
Afghanistan, and Iraq. We as Armenians have served Glendale in public schools and city councils in many ways. It comes time to where we don't need to apologize. We need to ask for not only recognition, we want our land back and we want Armenia back. We can have the rhetoric from Sacramento, but it's come time that we take Glendale and our community back for all of us. I'm committed, not only in Board of Education, this year I'm taking a new step. I'm running for the 43rd to represent our state and our community to be the voice of American Armenians and to be a voice of Glendale to be in touch with you. It comes time that one of our own speaks for us. One of our own represents our community. I look at our families, what we've done in here in our community. For 97 years we walked the streets. To ask for America, we have had our siblings and our brothers and sisters spill blood for America's freedom. We've had us open up businesses in this community, in Glendale and Burbank and surrounding areas, to give to our community. But now it comes time to say, you know what? The Armenian American people deserve a little respect more than just I'm sorry. We want Mount Ana back and we want true recognition to the Armenian genocide. I stand here today with you, with my colleagues, Ms. Nadi Nahabedian, Mr. Rafi Manukian, and Laura Friedman from Glendale, representing you. We stand shoulder to shoulder with you to echo your visions and your voice. So God bless you tomorrow, because today is our day. As we look at from New York to Los Angeles, we as Armenian Americans, the Turkish government has failed because you're still here today. So I stand before you and ask you, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, to continue to fight for one justice, one cause, one nation, for an Azad Hayastan. God bless you and enjoy the day. Այս պահին խնդրում ենք դիմավորել գլենդելի կաղաքապետ Ֆրանք Քունթերային եւ գլենդելի քաղաքային խորհրդի անդամներ Ռավի Մանուկյանին, Արան Նաջարյանին եւ Լորա Ֆրեդմանին։ Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Glendale City Mayor Frank Quintero and council members Aran Nadjarian, Rafi Manukyan and Laura Friedman. Good evening. It's always an honor to speak. Uh, well, first of all, it's always an honor to speak in front of the young Armenians. This is a group that has been around for many years. The first generation is actually no longer young, but fortunately there was a new generation that came up and began to do the same good work that the first generation did. Let me start by saying that I'm going to speak to the young people at the, in the audience. The older people like me, they, they know. But I think the young people, what they have to recognize is, number one, that they should go out of their way to talk about the genocide, to talk about the issues to non-Armenians, to let their friends, to let everyone they come in contact with understand what took place during that horrible era because many Americans are not into history and unfortunately they don't understand. They know vaguely that something happened to the Armenians, but so it's up to the young generation, young kids, to make sure that that message goes out. The second thing that the young generation has to do is to work to strengthen the Armenian Republic. There's no better work you can do than to join nonprofits, to get involved in Hayastan whether it's giving money, whether it's joining an organization like the Young Armenians or, or writing letters to the Congress, doing whatever you need to do to strengthen the Armenian Republic. Because that is the final answer to the Turks. With a strong country, with a strong republic, you'll let the Turkish people know that they did not succeed, that in fact they failed. 
Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Friedman, and I'm very honored to be able to be here with you tonight. You know, when I was thinking about what I was going to say to you tonight, I thought about the many events, gen uh, genocide commemorative events that I've attended, the many speeches that I've heard and the speeches that I've given, and I thought, what can I possibly say that's new? What can I say that's different? And then I realized that I was being very, very foolish because there really is not a need to say something new or something different. There are some things that I think that we need to say and we need to say them over and over again. And there are also some things that I hope that we never have to say again. I think that we will always need to say every single year from now until the time when there are no more people on this earth that there were people in Armenia, men, women, and children, who perished tragically, and they must never, ever be forgotten. We also must remember the sacrifices of the people who martyred themselves to save their children, to save their wives, to save their husbands, and the sacrifices of those people who went on not only to survive, but to thrive and to begin uh, to bring their cultures all over the world. We must always acknowledge the history of the diaspora and what that means for the American people. And we must every single year always hold this event so that we remember to be vigilant against oppression, against violence, against intolerance. And we must reinforce those commitments every single day. But there are also some things that I hope that as I continue to attend this event every year, that I will not hear any more. I would love for there to be a day when we no longer have to implore the United States government to recognize the Armenian Genocide. And that day will come. I want one day to not have to hear speakers demand an apology and a recognition from the Turkish government. One day that will happen and we won't have to ask and demand that any longer. I want to one day not have to wonder why the Armenian Genocide, the first genocide of the 20th century, is not taught to children in public schools across this nation. Because that terrible event is something that needs to be acknowledged as well as all genocides for people to understand the forces that cause these terrible things to happen. And that education should happen not just in Glendale but nationwide. And I want one day for this event and all of our Week of Remembrance and Genocide commemorative events to not be considered Armenian events. The Armenian Genocide should be commemorated from coast to coast in this country as a United States event, as something that is meaningful for all people in this country, because it was the first real genocide of the 20th century, and something that if it had been prevented, the Holocaust might not have happened, and many other genocides might not have happened, because people would have noticed the signs and been more aware. So I want this to always be a community event and a United States event, and not just an Armenian event. It's for all of us in Glendale. As I said last year at the Argenocide event, today and this week in Glendale, we are all Armenians, and I consider myself this week to be an Armenian, if you will allow that. I stand with you. Thank you. So these are the things that I hope that we never have to talk about again. We should be able to remember the dead and celebrate the tremendous resilience of the Armenian people without having to fight an ongoing political battle over recognition, recognition of history. I believe that these goals are all achievable, and they are achievable because of your activism and your awareness, and because your children are at this event and your children are learning and following in your footsteps. Thank you all so very much. God bless. Portsem Hosil, Pites in Kradzes, Hiren of Kradze. So, Sir Hamperchun Hajis. In the Meds Rachuchun Gabajare, Yerb Gedesnem, Ice Kind Meds Tivov, Yerida Sartner, Yegadzem, Hishelu, Mer Ahedial Nere, Yev Bashpanelu, 
հայթադը։ Թուրքերը սպանեցին մեկ ու գես միլիոն հայեր, մեր նախը հայերը։ Թուրքերուն նբադակն էր հայությունը վերցնել աշխարի երեսեն, բայց չի հաչողեցան։ Այսպես, որ մեզի համար աբրիլ 24 սուրպ որ է, որ գհիշենք հիշադագը մեր զոհերուն։ Գուհուսանք, որ օրմը թուրքերուն ընդունիլ դանք իրենց ոջիրը։ Եվ երբ ընդունին իրենց ոջրակորզությունը, the genocide, և արնենք մեր արդար իրավունքները թուրքեր են, այնադեն, միայն այնադեն, բիդի գրնանք մեր բաբերուն վրեժը մասամբ մլուծել։ Մենք ջենոսայդ են, ազատ ողներու զավագներ, թորները, բիդի չի գենանք, մինչև որ պահաճանքները չենք աստացած։ Մենք, որբես հայ ամերիկացիներ, կաբրինք մեր հայրենիք են հերու, սագայն, պետք է միշտ հբարդ ալանք մեր հայ ալալով։ Հայ ալալը թակ մն է մեր կուղխում վրա, եվ կուլխնիս միշտ պարձր պետք է բահենք, եվ կալենք միշտ հբարդանքով։ գրնանք կտնել ուրիշ ասկմը, որ ձված է աշխարի կաղագրդության, որ կան հայմը դված է, սագան հայը շատ անարդարություններ դեսած է, մեծ ասկեր են և ծրված է աշխարի չորս կողմ է, պայց որ երգիրը որ եղած է, հայը միշտ բատվավոր բիդի բաշպանենք հայթադը մինչև որ աստանանք արդարություն։ Աբրի հայ երդասարդությունը, շնագալություն։ Պարի երեկո ես Հրավի Մանուգյանն եմ։ Ավի նեիշն is built on the shoulders of and efforts of individuals acting collect collectively for the benefit of society. The Armenian nation today is being founded and built on the shoulders of our youth, of our, of our young people, and your efforts. We, the older generation, we look to you for leadership, initiatives, and innovation to chart a future devoid of discrimination and racism, and the recognition of the reality of the first genocide of the 20th century is the foundation of your commitment to these principles. I commend your efforts and work in that direction as is apparent here today. Always do the right thing. Don't forget your heritage and keep up the good fight. Is mer abakan mer yerdasartnernen yev mer arashnortnera mer yerdasartnernen inchves vor ais zrakira կազմավորած են այսօր, երդասարդներում գնայինք մեր ապակայի ճամպան գերդելու համար, մեր երդասարդները բիտի գերդեն և մեր առաջնորդը բիտի էլ լան, կուզեմ կնահադել իրենց կործունեություն այսօր այստեղ, այո, ծապարեց մեր բայքարը արդար է և մենք մի շարնագենք մեր բայքարը մինչև արդարություն։ Չնորագալ եմ։ Այս պահին խոսկը հազնում ենք միացյալ հայի էի դասարներ կազմակերպության մեծ աջագիտ և սատար հեռուստահաղորդավա Բարև ձեզ, ի տարբերություն, որ ես միշտ այերեն եմ խոսում, այսօր պետի մի քանի բար անգլերեն ասեմ ու գնամ, որով հետև 
Lightragir piti anem u toki studio am spasumene ma. Kanerik. Yes, minak I would like to ask you after I say Prime Minister Erdogan everybody to say it's time to apologize. So if you can do that will help me. All German leaders after World War II have apologized for Jewish Holocaust. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 1988, Congress passed a resolution and President Ronald Reagan apologized, for, apologized to the Japanese on behalf of United States for the 1942 internment of 110,000 Japanese, 80,000 of which were U.S. citizens of Japanese origin. U.S. paid 1.6 billion reparations. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 1993, President Bill Clinton offered contrition to Ugandan school children, telling them that, and I quote, European Americans received the fruits of the slave trade and we were wrong in that, end of quote. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 2001, President of Poland, Alexander Gwasniewski, apologized on behalf of Poland to the Jewish people for the July 1941 killing of no less than 340 individuals at the hands of the Polish people originally thought to be Germans' crimes. He stood two hours in pouring rain, apologizing over and over again. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In Senegal, Africa, in 2003, President George W. Bush described the horrors of slavery and injustices of segregation. He said that only through centuries of struggle had America, and I quote, learned that freedom is not the possession of one race, end of quote. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to... Thank you. In 2004, George W. Bush apologized for the abuse of Iraqi prisoners at Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq after photos of inhumane treatments of prisoners were shown around the world. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 2008, the Canadian government formally apologized and agreed to pay about 1.85 billion to surviving Indian students for physical, physical and sexual abuse of Indian students in 1920 and 1930 for Canadian government's aggressive assimilation. Pre Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. Australia formally apologized to its aboriginal people in early 2008 for its policy of forced assimilation. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 2009, Congress passed, Congress of United States passed, and President Obama signed a resolution apologizing, and I quote, on behalf of the people of the United States to all native peoples for many uh, peoples of the United States for many instances of violence, maltreatment, and negligent, and the end of quote. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 2001, the U.S. Senate passed a resolution expressing regret and apologizing for passage of discriminatory laws against the Chinese in America including the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 for denial of citizenship rights. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. In 2001, strangely enough, Prime Minister Erdogan of Turkey apologized for the 1937, for the first time, 
and 1938 massacre in the city of Darsim that killed some 13,000 Alawi Kurds. Among them, strangely, were a few Armenians, Armenian genocide survivors. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time. In 2005, the California State Legislature issued a formal apology for the 1929 to 1944 repatriation of at least 500,000 individuals of Mexican ancestry, most of them U.S. citizens. Prime Minister Erdogan. In 2012, the County of Los Angeles and its Board of Supervisors unanimously issued a formal apology to the Mexican Americans for the act of repatriation by their predecessors 80 years ago. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. Prime Minister Erdogan, you should take example of the above and apologize to Armenians. Prime Minister Erdogan, it's time to apologize. Shinora Galuchun. I am controlling Vortunel, Glendel Kaki, the Protagan, Vashagan Hortina, Pornahaga, Nairina Hapetianin. Please welcome to the stage Glendale Unified School District Board of Education Vice President Nairina Hapetian. Harir kun shagavort. Kena hadeliye, arjaniye, yer dasar tuchan ashkadan kche? Ayo. April e noren, April e gergin, gergin miasineng. Yev mer tsaynera, aveli amur, aveli miatsnagan tarzaden. Kesharnag, kesharnagvin ampoch darin paits. Hishenga diga, vor polor darin gesharnagvi mer korza, aisir da sartneru korza, michotav irens, polor asharhov, vor besi hasning, mer artar ludzmin, yev artar tadin. Abrile gergin, yev mer artar parguchuna eskalie, che? Mer artar parguchuna eskalie, mer poroke derin. Yev Tsasuma Bajarapan Vadze. Asem Naev Jorovurt, Hoskma Tsavimasin, Yev Vashtimasin. Vorgamana Merser Derimech, Tarmanumi Garodi. Minchevaisor Dagavin Ludzum Chedesads. Mer Tsava Mervishta. Vortejvaru Champ Karda Haideng. Mer Serderumech, Tejvaru Champ Karda Haideng. Mer Anhadagan, Serderumech, Yevnaev, Havakagan Gerbov, Tejvaru Champ Karda Haideng. Pites, Inchpes, Chetsavink. Inchpes, Chevochbank. Med Yerer Nine, Vor Mer Serderimech, Mer Yerer Nine, Med Yerer Nine, Mer Hokinerun.